Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we are reacting to The Vampire Diaries Season 1, Episode 10, The Turning Point. Which makes me think, just with the title, The Turning Point, they're vampires, they turn. Somebody's going to turn on a point, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, that's just how my brain works. We had Sergeant Goofneck come back, not Sergeant Goofneck, I'm sorry, the meteor astrologist, the fucking weatherman, the... I just, I fucking hate him. We had that guy, he's, he's back. Alaric Von Saltzman, Liverwitz, whatever. He seems pretty cool. Jeremy's doing homework, reading diaries from 1864. Stefan don't want to be with Elena. Damon's sad. Uh, Matt and Caroline are just caking it up, eating cookies and chips and soda and just living their, their best life, you know? Living, living just their best life together. Bonnie and Elena are currently talking about witches, werewolves, vampires, Fucking Onis, Wendigos, the Boogeyman, the Candyman, Mother Teresa. They're just, they're bonding, okay? And everything else in between. So that that's where we're at with the show, okay? I'm just so mad Logan's his name. The subtitles here, I thought it was Luke. Because I don't, I don't care. We haven't seen Tyler in like three episodes, maybe two. It's hard to keep track. Blessed, okay? I'm just glad to see Matt's doing good. And, um... Uh, I miss you, Lexi, every day. Every day I miss you. So here's what we're going to do. If you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Jerry gets it along with that. Uh, if you guys want to support anyway, there's a Patreon link down in the description box down below. You can get access to the private Discord. You can get videos early or you can get them fully unedited. That's all I got. So other than that, Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. Bada bing, bada bop. And we're going to go ahead and get into it. Shall we? Why are you here, Logan? It's a great fucking question. No, you didn't. I was out of town. You're supposed yeah, to be. I got that email. You got an email. Invite me in, and I'll tell you everything. I'm not gonna invite you in. Forget it. You're always one step from a maybe. A tiny nudge to yes. I hate that motherfucker so much. <sighs> Dumbass. God, I hope you get shot in the neck with a wooden stake. Somebody just loads up a crossbow and it just smacks you, bro. And you just disintegrate right in the front of the screen. Jesus Christ, I thought that was Stan Lee for a second. Oh, my eyes. Leave old man withers alone. Evening. Don't do it. It's power walk. Like the old people in the mall in the morning, power walk your ass back in the house. Shut the door. Is that Elena? Don't you even fucking think about it. Dick turd. Who is this? That's not Elena. Well, I used to. I mean, you've been missing from my TV. I took some time off. I noticed. <laughs> I'm Daphne. Daphne. <laughs> Is that supposed to be fucking shocking? Daphne. Scooby dooby doo. I'm so pissed right now. I'm just glad it wasn't Old Man Withers. I live in fear. Daphne. It consumes me. <laughs> I used to draw. I'm not good anymore. I tried. Are you sketching? Sketching. I wish I could. I do know the song a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, what do we do? You're the only one who's ever taken on a vampire. Motherfucking barely. He came up with that stake and killed Lexi, you piece of shit. Mm, what did that say? Career fair. Okay. Oh, look, they got the same thing three different places. Job fair, career. That's a lot of sticky notes saying the same shit. Uh, something stage guitar, only 220. Not bad, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know how much guitars cost. You wake for that part. Well, I don't know when you fell asleep. Um, Get him off the screen. About Fucking hate him. Not Matt. Not Matt. The yeah, dip bob right here. Then the loud that one. Kept screaming and I couldn't take it, so I turned it off. If I sat through Family Guys. God, he looks like somebody from Veggie Tales, bro. Did I miss something? Not since you told me you was I leaving. I never understood scarves. Oh, I know he's already gone. He wouldn't leave without saying goodbye. For fashion, yes, but other than that, he he's protecting me. What's the point? A clean break and all that. That's tough. I wore a scarf once. I'm not gonna lie. I slayed it. I he fucking rocked swear. it. But nonetheless, thank you for stopping by. Let me know what you come up with. Absolutely. I'm only here because you're in danger.
Hi. And it's so weird when you just know somebody, you can go directly into con, like you can just talk to them, and you have that something like they have going on, and you just get to that awkward hi or the hey. That's so annoying. No, it's not like that. Who told you how to dribble a basketball, you fucking dweeb? Yeah, your form shit. Ain't no way you made that. That was a body double. Yeah. Fucking hate him. We'll never miss a game. Ed. Matt, dunk on his ass. Out, like, twice. Form's like decent. I, said, I like we... you, Matt. What school was a basketball goal outside? You guys having recess right now? Leaving a body like that? They're either sloppy or they're trying to send a message. And you're sure it's not Damon? Positive. I'm never sure about Damon, but he's been trying to keep a low profile lately, so. Oh, my mother's going crazy. Why you need me to do this? Because I interfere with the signal. But can I go now? This has blown like half of my day. You do that. Get in your car. Go home. Forget I asked him to do this. Okay. Bye now. Bye. <laughs> He's fucking so annoyed with her. Oh, he wanted to kill her so bad. <laughs> if I had that power, it's what I'd do. I'd be like, hey, it's time for you to go. Damn, old strong hand. Where's he at? Of these wooden bullets, so Jesus Christ, you don't want to do this, trust me. Ow. Stop shooting him get for what you have to have vampire blood in your system when you die. I didn't do that. Some other vampire found you. Ah, that's right. So, their blood. Bonnie didn't die, that's why she didn't turn. Who that's what I want to know, dude. It's not like the welcome wagon was waiting with a bunk cake and a handbook. It's the next thing I know. I can't get into my house because my foot won't go through the door. You have to be invited in. I know. I live alone. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> so now, I'm at the Ramada watching pay-per-view all day, eating everything in sight, including house TV. worse. Who invited him into the room, though? Blood. They're just piling up. Jesus Christ, dog. Don't be looking at drawings, you prick. What do you want? Now beat hey, your ass. I'm uh, just surprised to see you here. Art usually implies culture, and culture implies well, <laughs> not you. Oh, you yeah. savage, bro. That is sick. Oh, he drew that? Oh, of course he drew that. Oh, they're gonna fucking bond, aren't they? If I stop Still watching this. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta tell me. How can you walk around in the sun? Who turned you? How do you walk in the sun? Who turned you? You know... I've been really nice so far, but I will kill you. Then you'll never know. I guess I'll be needing a little head start. Can't Steph and sense this shit somewhere? I'm guessing Damn. you're not here to plan the path for your future. Hey, you bro, left. just say you have a choice. Good genetics, bro. Like. You could easily also pass for 45, so you have a nice almost 30 year window you can work with. I don't want to talk about my future, Stefan. Logan's here. Wait, Logan fell? Stefan, what's going on? Kill me. Are you dodging me? You're not a celebrity, Dick. You're a you meteorologist. Know. You're a weatherman. How you can walk around in the sun? I do. You can't. Don't ever threaten me again. Oh, I like that side of Stefan, boy. Said when you better get the, the fuck up. Broadcast journalism. Why are you looking at me like that? Be supportive, you fuck. You don't even read the paper. That shit right there. That'll do it. Liz? Swing and a miss. Logan. What are you gonna do? Stake me? One of you. And now you're one of them. Oh, how the tables have turned. Watch your back, Sheriff. 
Don't you ever put your nose in somebody else's ear like that ever again, you fucking weirdo. Get a backup team to the school immediately. Keep it within the circle. It's a V5. V5. Hey, hmm? Oh, baby, she baby, wanted to... Don't mock me. Well, I was supposed to go home with Bonnie, but I can't find her. <laughs> I have disdain. Look at your dirty ass car windows. Okay. Click it or ticket. I just hope he's been feeding always strong. I can't. What I want to happen probably ain't gonna happen. Have you seen Logan Pell, the news guy? What I want is an answer to my question. What's going on out here? I like you, Alaric. Who do you think you're talking to? You, you old fucking. Do I look like a student? I'm a fucking... You a full-grown like man. Full -grown alpha male douchebag. Yeah. Don't mm. talk to me like that. I can have your job like this. Think he cares, bro? It'll be you and me in this parking lot, working things out. That went in well for you, brother. You cool with that? Tyler, I don't have any sympathy for you. You tried to fucking rape a girl in the woods. I'm sorry. But your dad's also a douche. He runs in the family, right. I guess. Yeah, he's good. Not the satisfaction of turning your daughter into a vampire. <laughs> Stefan! That boy been feeding on people though. Payback's a bitch, isn't it? <laughs> Who turned you? That man practicing his swing. I don't know. Oh well, then you're screwed. But I, I don't know. You're lying. Do you think you're the only one that wants to get in that tomb underneath the old church? If you were lying to me, I will end you. I am not lying. There's another way to break the spell. We can help you. Meet me at the old church. Take me down. Make a look real. Make a look real. Where is she? She's okay. My brother's taking her home. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I just wasn't strong enough. <laughs> God damn it, Damon. You fucking push over. I don't know. Okay. Oh, character development. Fucking, I hope you fucking trip on the way home and smash your head into the curb. <laughs> I don't, I just don't, I don't like you. I know that it's, that it's hard to understand. But I'm doing this for you. At least I got to have a little conversation. Nah. You don't get to make that decision for me. If you walk away, it's for you because I know what I want. Stefan, I love you. Oh, gay. Oh, say it back. There we go. I love it. You love to see it. I don't know what this song is. <laughs> oh, shit. That's what you'd like to see. Oh, is this going to lead to that vamp sex Lexi was talking about? She's like, no. Don't. Don't hide from me. Hey, is this going to be like when, uh, <laughs> when Edward smashed Bella? Because they fucked that room up. That shit was wild. That boy just got glaucoma. Let me lead you upstairs in your own place. That's a power move right there. That's 100% a power move. Stop on the staircase. Another kiss as the high note hits. I got this show down to a fucking T. I don't know why this reminds me of when Danny and John were smashing on Game of Thrones. This feels weird because I know people are going to watch me watching this. This is like watching a sex scene in front of your parents. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know how to feel right now. Who are you? Friend of Jenna's. Jenna sent you? I came on my own. Ah, I get it. Well, buddy, I know you think this makes you brave, but actually it makes you pretty stupid. Nah. Either way, here I am. Because you have no idea who you're talking to. 
Now get the fuck out of there before Damon shows up. I was hoping that's how the show just. I need a ride. Ended. Sure. Oh, Look, Damon. I like Carolyn. She's got this thing, this this way about her, and I like her. Okay. In your room before. I'll wait. Well, now you have. Well, it hasn't changed much over the years. You thirsty or anything? A little. Yeah. He just hit her with the. You want some juice? <laughs> Get you something to drink. Oh no, he going this episode ain't over because he got gotta go do to do some shit. They're too happy. Oh Jesus. Oh she gonna Ah She gonna see it. She gonna see the picture. No What the fuck? Was that pants jacket coat man she just hit? Get out of the Damon? Alaric? And that's how you're gonna end the fucking show. I'm over it. That's how you're gonna end it. The episode should have ended like 14 times. There's 14 moments in the last 15 minutes that this show could end on. You could end it on the kiss. You could end it after the sex. You could have ended it after the state. You could have ended it with her seeing the picture. You could have ended it with the phone get hung up. <laughs> Exposition is wild. Um, look, let's let's talk about the low points first, Tyler. Logan, let's talk about the high points. Not that's out of the way. Uh, Matt, Matt, I just love you, dude. I hope him. Him and Caroline, the Connie, I hope they have a good relationship. I know she saw him talking to, what's his bucket, uh, Elena. And she went home. Uh, Stefan took her home because she got knocked unconscious. Because the second she says she wants to be a broadcast journalist, of course, the fucking weatherman shows up. Uh, anchorman, weatherman, I don't really care, honestly. My boy got gaffled. You know why? Because Alaric... Young Alaric Saltzman. My man is a champion. One, he stopped the fight between Jeremy and Tyler. Even though Tyler's a bitch for taking that swing at the end. Unnecessary. Uh, he stood up to the mayor. Not only that, he he knows. He knew where Logan was. He goes to him. He said, What's up, bud? He had the he had the kniff. He had the shiv hidden like a fucking assassin from Assassin's Creed. I'm using my back scratcher as an example. And he had that motherfucker come out. He was like, God, bro, it's just like it's just like Assassin's Creed. Stabbed him right in the chest. Guess what, Logan? You turned. You killed some innocent, innocent people. You killed Daphne. How could you? Anyways, you're gone. Good. That's also good for Auntie because she doesn't need you around. You told her she had no self-esteem. The best part of the whole show was he couldn't get invited into his own house because he lived alone. Uh, I do like when Damon and Stefan work together because it's just like this dynamic duo, you know? Uh, Damon is going to be upset he didn't get answers. Then again, he's out in no man's land doing God knows what. And Elena finds out about Catherine, which if, uh, it was inevitable, right? I didn't know it was going to happen this early. She's going to have this emotional fit with Steph and the same that Lexi had pretty much. I love you. Rest in peace. Something along the lines of, oh my God, you're only with me because I look just like Catherine. Like, this is why you came back. Like, oh my God, Stefan. And then Damon's going to be like, I don't fucking know. He's going to say something snarky and funny and he's going to go kill somebody. Uh, 
Damon's been doing good in the last couple episodes. This was a good 10th episode of a show, The Turning Point. A lot happens. We get Alaric confirmed and killing. We get fucking, I don't even know what to call him anymore. <laughs> get that fucking weather boy. We get weather boy. He's in and out. That's good. We've Elena comes back into this relationship. They had that such a good moment. Her saying, I love you. He didn't say it back, but he did kiss her. And then they did do the relations, right? So many good moments. And it all comes crashing down. Her hitting pants jacket coat man right in the middle of the street. And then they come back. Not a whole lot going on here with Bonnie. A lot of, a lot of unanswered things with Bonnie. But everybody else, good moments. The next episode's called Bloodlines. That's terrifying. And can we please quit having, look, Marvel movies, when you hire a new actor, you get one shot in a movie where they're shirtless. Even Paul Rudd in Ant-Man had a shirtless scene. Paul Rudd got ripped for that. So now, fast forward, every episode, I swear to God, I see when I'm shirtless. I'm just saying. I'm over it. I don't care anymore. I can only see so many abs in my life. I'm just saying. It loses its effect. I just don't care, bro. Get somebody there built like me. Thick. Get him shirtless. That's what you want to see. I smell breakfast. <laughs> I gotta go to bed, bro. It's fucking what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Past my bedtime. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. You all have a lovely rest of your day, evening, whatever time you choose to watch this on. Playlist is gonna be up on wait, no, they're not. Not yet. Down below, link to Patreon, private Discord, early access, complete uncut episodes. All the good stuff. Twitch streams down there as well. Anything else you want to check me out on? Multiple forms of content. I'm just kind of winging it right now at the moment. But uh, yeah, guys. Playlist up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.